Wow, she is an aggressive shimmier. <gasps> okay, bye, it's pizza time. Why don't you guys stay in your lane for a second? Whoa, 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 we're all driving now. <laughs> Everyone's merging. <gasps> Hallelujah! It's legit. We were literally crying yesterday, and we literally cried today for opposite emotions. <laughs> yeah. There's been a lot, a lot of tears. tears. <laughs> yep. I think the only two cheeses should be mozzarella and parm. And parm. And, parm. and I think that's where like the Neapolitan versus New York thing kind of comes in. Like Neapolitan, I feel like you're leaning more heavily on like, you know, fresh mozzarella like Fiorda Latte or, you know, buffalo. Oops, yeah, yeah, the buffalo mozzarella. Whereas New York, it's like part low moisture. I understand that, the they, that it melts well, Stretchy. but also some of my favorite pies I ever had were like the the liquid of the cheese the like saucy, became part of the around. sauce. And I just can't have like a puddle of water that's sogging out in the center and then just dripping off and landing on my plate. <laughs> All right, so you guys, you've claimed cheese. I think Carla cheese Molly. claimed us. Okay, yeah, you're right. That's how I look at it. So you we decided a mix of fresh mozz and Provel, right? Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> where we are. Right. Right, the only cheese no, that stays bro, melted bro. after you <laughs> melt it. You got it. Nailed it. If you had to give up dairy or wheat, I would definitely give up wheat. Because not eating cheese yeah. wouldn't be an okay. Right, which is why it's good that you slash we are on cheese. Yeah, love cheese. Love the stuff. Okay, mozz for sure. Yes, like it's obviously. not not Mots. gonna have mozz. Yes. Like there might be two types of mozzarella, like a fresh and a little moisture. Yeah. I haven't ruled that out hypothetically. Cow's milk. Cow. Buffalo, we're the buffalo room. Hold the cheese, no slip. <laughs> I forgot about Parmesan. We did talk about I feel, Parmesan. Okay, I know that's cheese, but maybe that's also in topping world. It could it, it could depends it be. if it's going on before or after it gets cooked. It's here's a question mark. But okay. it is it is a cheese. cheese. The very core decision we have to make is between low moisture and fresh and or a combo of both, so it seems like a good place to just enter through. Totally. And I bet that the guys, I don't know, I wasn't there for all of their discussions, but on sauce, they tried like a thousand different ways of a tomato. All right, so we're gonna get some cheeses. Yeah. Cheese and cheeses. Yeah. And I think we should taste them raw, but we have to bake them. Yeah. We have fresh in the brine. This is cow. This was, this is very fresh and very wet. Whereas here, it feels stretchier and bouncier. Interesting. I do prefer the fresh milk flavor of this. And so we've got full milk. Wow, right? check this out. Really pushes back on you. It's like yeah. a trampoline. This is part skin I don't like robustness. this one. There's not a lot of flavor in this one. I'm not into it. Smell ya. All right, so let's play around with dough. So. Dust around the balls. And a release. Brad and Andy sauce. One ounce. It's a ridiculously small amount of sauce. I know. We did a heaping. You did a heaping. Did you put oil on your sauce? I don't believe in that. That's a topping thing. I don't think that's a sauce <laughs> thing or a cheese thing. That's okay, like sure. <laughs> Whatever you say, Andy. I'll do what you say. First test, fresh. All of the briny brine. And we want this angle. With the surface. No angle. Yeah, oh, this lack of angle. <laughs> Joseph, you did that really fearlessly. That was so impressed. Did, did Claire not say the dough senses your fear? She did say that. Wow. She is an aggressive shimmier. <gasps> okay, bye. It's pizza time. Holy McGillicuddy. Wow. Look! <gasps> It's not round, but in every other way. I told way. you it went in oval. Okay, shall we? All right. Mm. It melts really nicely. Mm -hmm. The cheese is like chewy without being rubbery or balling up. Brad, I like the sauce. Oh, good. Try again. I shoved. A. <laughs> 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 I don't know. like this method. <laughs> okay, I have an idea. Calzone. <laughs> okay, All round right. two. Fresh mozzarella, not prime. Wow. Looks very similar. 
And this is fresh, but not in the brine. Hmm. That's pretty good. Mm hmm This one tastes more milky. They're both good. They're both good. I'll say that. The not brined has a slight edge right now. Mm -hmm. So say we went with that one, yeah. and we did it with the mozzarella, but we paid attention to the weight. And then incorporate half low moisture into our next pizza. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Why did that happen? It just wasn't that much of the low moisture, I think. It's like they're almost like repelling one another. Right. It has that like string cheesy flavor. Yeah. As opposed to a fresh, yeah. milky flavor. We need to go full low moisture. Just let it roll. Oh. Wow. wow. The cheese took color. See that? Even That's in. Still 750. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about the dough temp. We've got that on lock. Check out the cheese. It's great. That's not fresh mozzarella. No. no. Wow, it's so bouncy. It tastes super plasticky. Yeah, I agree. I think it's pretty clear that what we need to learn more about is in this it's fresh like mozzarella in world. in this yeah. and in this go to the source keeps coming into my head. So you've been to Italy and you've had great cheese. Definitely. I've been to Italy, great cheese. We have great. not together been to Italy to have great cheese. Certainly not. That would be great though. I mean, I got no problem. I, I got I nothing I to do this weekend. Uh, so we're in Italy. Ciao, Molly. Ciao, Bella. We made it. <laughs> we just landed last night. Now we're at the Yogurteria. Yeah, to we're make Buffalo Rome. We're here to learn the process behind the mozzarella cheese making. Ciao, Rosario. Hello. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome yeah. to Tavanula. Thank Today you. Guide. We're gonna see how we make our organic mozzarella, and we're gonna see the stable with the buffalo. Oh my goodness. Hi, babe. Wow, they're so big. Okay, guys, this is the owner of the park. Mi chiamo Molly. Carla. So you play Mozart? There is not a study about the, how the music works on the buffalo, but uh, I'm sure that when they listen, they feel a different sensation. So I, I like uh, that they can uh, listen to uh, the music just for this simple uh, reason. Is it possible to see any of the milking happening? Is it happening right now? Yes, yes. We can go take a yeah, peek? Yes, yes. All right. Cool. We have this special system of milking, uh, so the buffalo can go by themselves inside the, a box oh. where uh, the milk is uh, thick by the milking machine. It's uh, recognize the buffalo. It's a moment to recognize the buffalo. Oh, it has facial recognition? Wow. So it uses, it looks like a laser. Oh, there we go. We've made contact. The machine opens the gates and the buffalo can, uh, can go out and... Hang out, listen to some music. Yes, yes. From here we can see the stable. And they like the massager. It seems like yeah. they're, that's like a good place to be. Yes, but uh, you, you can see that they wait today. They wait their turn. Yes, yes. Yes, they're very <laughs> patient with one another. Have you been practicing dipping your hands in boiling water every day? No, have you? No. Can you put these on your shoes? Sure. This is yours. Okay. Uh, it's not so sexy. <laughs> I think it's very sexy. You've never looked better. about 400 kilograms of mozzarella a day. The most important thing is that we don't pasteurize our milk. Buffalo milk, there's 9% of fat. Nine. Wow. In cow milk, there's 3.4.5%. Four. Yeah. The name mozzarella comes from mozzare, mozzatura, and it means to cut mozzarella. Squeeze it with our forefinger and our thumb. Okay. Yeah. Quick and strong. Okay. Ah, it's a little piccolo. Wow. So you're the former. Yeah. And then I'm the cutter, and I go in with my pinchers, 
with force, and I don't stretch, I no, chop. No, that one guy was like, oh. I know, he was like, freaking <laughs> calm down and take a deep breath. <laughs> Guys, that was pretty good. <laughs> we love it. Oh. And then the braid, the braid. That's gorgeous. Here. Okay, all right. Yeah, I gotta leave a little bit of a trail. Here we go. In we go. Out the other hole. Karina. Bella. Bella. So, from what we understand, buffalo are milked. And then at four in the morning, they collect the milk. And they add the rennet and a little bit of yesterday's whey. And it sits for 30 minutes. Until it gets like this. Right. And then they sit on this tray and drain. And then they put it in that chopper whopper over there. That chops the chop up into a lot of little pieces, which then Go in get the added to the hot water bath. 100 degrees. Celsius. Unsalted. Celsius. <laughs> Not So Fahrenheit. boiling, the curd softens, and then it gets malleable. And then that turns into the pasta filata. And then that goes into those bins. It's a lot that's happening here. Cheers to the cows. The Give buffalo. Bang up job out there. Are you know? buffaloes cows? <laughs> <laughs> They're not, the buffalo. But it, wouldn't a female buffalo be a cow? Why? It's still a cow. Then how is it not cow's milk mozzarella? Um, well, I don't know. Are they buffalo cow? <laughs> yeah. Cow <laughs> is not a buffalo, but a buffalo is a cow. So cow is more of like we, an umbrella like term. Them. It's like a um, square is not a rectangle, <laughs> but a rectangle is a square kind of thing. Like a, I think a cow just means the female of a dare, that animal that produces. <laughs> I just feel like we should sort this out. <laughs> that is really confusing. <laughs> Mozzarella. Ooh, and thank you. Mm. Oh. It's the same. The different, just the sides. Look at you can squeeze the milk out of mm -hmm. it. Oh my god, moody. Eh? Wow. So Juicy, milky. Considering like how high the fat content is, you expect it to be super heavy on your it's palate not, and so fatty, light, and it's so light and watery and creamy, and 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 then there's the sourness. We don't have a year to practice, but maybe with some practice, we could figure out how to make our own mozzarella. Yeah, I think definitely that would be insane. So tomorrow we have an appointment to just really hone in on the cutting, the shaping and the cutting, the pinchy pinch. Yeah. So we can master that and bring it back to the chest kitchen. Hopefully Molly doesn't have like some kind of special connection with one cheese guy and I can't even like get yeah, like, on my relationship. Oh, I'm like, can I? I'm, all right, well, it seems like something special is happening Maybe there. Maybe you'll find your Mateo I need next to farm. practice with my pinchers. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see who's there. Okay. We're looking forward to that. <clears throat> can't wait. See you in the morning. Okay, so we're here, we're at Taverna Penta, and uh, they've got quite an operation going. Also, a lot of fresh buffalo, so we're hoping we get in there and... Uh... A lot of fresh buffalo in there? <laughs> I don't see any buffalo in there. A lot of fresh buffalo, the milks of the There's buffaloes. There's a lot of buffalo milk in there. I think the owner, wow, it's loud in there. Yeah, it's a uh, buffalo. The owner of the farm, which is a couple miles away, and who owns this operation, Filippo, said he's gonna show us around, so. So, we got the big dog. Big dog on campus. So this, this is was... not ready. This will be ready in 10 minutes. In 10, 10 minutes. 15 minutes. And they add some boiling water and check if it melts correctly. Right. Uh -huh. If it melts correctly, then they start the process. So the curd has to be melted with the boiling water and it will stretch. stretch. And then the following phase is mozzatura, the cutting of the curd in order to give the right shape to the mozzarella. Gotcha. Cool. You want to try to do this? Yes. Yeah, yeah. we gotta practice. This. We gotta wash our hands. It is hotter than you think. Oh. Really? Stingy <laughs> pole. Oh boy, he didn't like that one. <laughs> tirare. Don't tirare. I know. <laughs> 
Yes. 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 No. No. Oh, she did. I noticed all the balls we made are in a little bucket over here to be thrown away. <laughs> hey, he liked it. <laughs> Gotta give me a little something to work with. Oh look, I did the triangle. Look, oh, Molly's so good at it. I'm doing it, but it's because you're holding it. You know, it takes two. I'm so disappointed Ugh. in myself. You know what? We can practice more when we get home. That's true. At least we like, at least we learned the technique. <gasps> they make it look so they easy. They make it look so easy. This is more tangy and sour than what we tasted yesterday. <laughs> I think you need to be honest with how you're feeling about buffalo milk here on day two. I think I overdid it. I was loving it yesterday. <laughs> and then last night I started feeling a little rumbly in my tumbly. <laughs> and today it's just a little much for me. So I think the key thing now is that we need to go eat pizza. Yeah, that's imperative at this point. And I'm really curious if we go to Naples Pizza HQ of the world, um, what we're gonna find. Okay, so we're outside of Naples, about an hour away in a hilltop town at a pizzeria mecca called Pepe and Grani. Finally gonna eat some pizza. I'm serving. It's a lot of pizzas on this menu. I know, I'm a little like a lot, a lot. One. There's almost as many bufala as there is fior di latte. Right. We're like it's it like bufala, 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 and then fior di latte, fior di latte, fior di latte. This is the margarita DOP, so with buffalo mozzarella cheese. So this is fior di latte. Hit me with the buffalo first. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me with their buffalo. Wow, look at that. You can smell the buffalo now. It smells really good to me. Yeah, I think we're good. having a different buffalo experience. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The flavor of the buffalo mozzarella works so well with everything. It does have tang, but it's not overwhelming. Not at all. Here, do you want to do the honors on that one? Sure. Coming in. Oh, coming in hot. It weirdly tastes more cheesy. Yeah, I prefer the flavor of the buffalo mozzarella. Oh my god, I did not expect this at this all. This tastes more, it has like a little bit more of a squeaky cheese curdy flavor than I expected with a fresh Fior di Latte. I don't not like it, but I, I agree with you. I'm frustrated with the science of the flavors right now and how the Fior di Latte became just more cheese forward than the buffalo. Right, it's I don't a little understand. counterintuitive. Yeah, it's weird. We're gonna eat more pizza in the next couple of days and we're gonna keep trying it. So hungry. Darn. I like can't Not think about any all. but pizza right now. Oh, me neither. Maybe it's this 20 page menu. Yeah. Or the all fact right. that we just ate pizza two hours ago. There's so many pies, but I don't I feel like we don't need to have our margarita moment again. No, we had our margarita moment. We had our margarita moment. Yeah. I don't need to have it again. No. Right. We're going to have Induya, Diavola, Amatriciana, Modo Mio. Okay. And Romana Gialla. How are we feeling about buffalo? Um, I think we feel great about it. The buffalo mozzarella that we eat at home does not taste the same. And if we can't make it taste the way we want to, then we're not gonna use buffalo milk. That's, and that's correct. not the point. The point is the freshness, the raw milk if we can get it, the keeping it at room temperature. That was, I think, the takeaway more so than yeah. a specific breed. The seasoning and also the liquid content. Yeah. It's not unreasonable for us to be mediocre at cheese making after only one day. It is whereas... guaranteed that we will be mediocre at cheese making after one day. No va bene. No, no va bene. But then, you know what I was thinking about? Like, I, we were not good at getting the right shape. Yeah. And making triangles. But we're tearing it apart anyway. I know, that's what I... <laughs> it's not like we have to sell it imperfectly. It'll book and chino. 
Do we even need to shape it? I don't know. Yeah, we're at that part of the trip where you kind of want to snap your fingers and be home. Ugh, the but then another ahead. part of me doesn't want to leave at all. Like I'm looking at this hill going into Naples and just kind of like, it's too soon. I would not be mad if we missed our flight. <laughs> Feels like day 313. I don't know what day it is. We are back in the Bona Pizza test kitchen. <laughs> okay. Right. Cow, cow buffalo. Really though, it should say cattle. Should we just put in here, <laughs> oh God, don't even with that. Fior di latte. Good, good choice. Drainage. So that's key for avoiding wet, sloppy jalopy pizza. Raw, pasteurized, size of tear, quantity of cheese. Import. Salt or no salt? Form well, of, salt in the brine. We wouldn't yeah, salt in the, the milk. in the brine. Cool. Let's go make some cheese. I'm a little <laughs> concerned that we're not gonna have the keen eye on the stretch test the way those guys do because they've been doing it forever. They just made it sound so intuitive. Yeah, you add some whey, you stir that slowly, slowly, then you add the rennet, and you stir it slowly, slowly, and then it just hangs out. Maybe they, they weren't giving us the full picture. Yeah, that's a classic we, I mean, Italian Nona trick. We like, didn't give you I the mean, recipe we and leave out some key things so you'll yeah. never be able to make it as well. We got a guy in Jersey and we're gonna call him. He um, hooked us up with some pasteurized buffalo milk. He hooked us up with some curd, which is kind of incredible. So huge jump start. Do you wanna do the talking and I'll take the notes? Sure. Okay, let's give Brian a call. We just got back from Italy and we're curious to see how your process might differ from the one that we learned about. Yeah, sure, sure. Do we pasteurize the milk? I might add a starter culture, depending on what season I'm in. What does the um, starter culture do? The re oh. Is that the rennet? At what point are you checking for the pH? Is there a world in which we would add whey at that point? How much would you add? Adding the rennet at 6.4, say that again. Yeah. What do you mean by spin the top? Are we cutting it in a grid? What measurement should we be cutting? What are you looking for in the stretch test? Are we dropping it into room temperature water? Awesome, well thank you so much, Brian. Yeah, We're so time. excited. It's very interesting, but very, uh, sometimes like, ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna have a lot of ah, oh, Jesus moments. Yeah, there's uh, three pages worth of notes here. <laughs> I'm like a little ready? overwhelmed. Are you right ready? Now. That's I'm the question. A little yeah, me too. So here we have our buffalo milk from New Jersey. Oh, how's this it smell? It smells like Italy. Does it? It really does. <gasps> Molly! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Let's check the pH on this bad boy. How do you do it? I didn't really watch that video. You dip the thing in the stuff and you check it. 13.12. 13. It's changing. Maybe I should just like <laughs> sit it down. So maybe there was something. Oh, God. <laughs> 10, 9, 12, 9, 12. No clue. It's somewhere between 6 and 8, according to this. That's like the least precise thing I've ever heard. I mean, our entire recipe is based on the functionality of this thing. Oh, my oh, freaking God, Brad. Don't worry, I'm here. Well, we're trying to we're get the pH, to get the pH on, on this buffalo milk, and it's, it's like all around. Up, jumping all around. Did but you, you have try it on something neutral yet to see if it even works? No. What's neutral try. though? Well, I mean, just like something like like water. Wait, something's not going on. That's your. This is showing you the temperature. The amount of whey that we add depends on whether we're at like 6.5, 7, or 7.5. I'd imagine this is not something I have done yet with this machine, but it, it sounds needs to be like it calibrated. Needs to be calibrated. So let's use the strip, small. Okay. You know what? I think we just have to channel our inner Italians That's and go fine. with our gut. And, and we have and a we pH have strips to guide us. Right. We'll just use our senses. Okay, we're heating three gallons of milk to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's do it. We're on step one of this recipe. <laughs> we should have been here like three hours ago. That's the rennet mixture. 99.100. Stir, stir, stir. Checking temperature. We're getting close, folks. Rennet's going in. So should we start the process for cow cow's milk? And so this fat content's gonna be about half. There's definitely a skin forming. It sounds like you're looking for a clean break. You can see the distinct lines where the knife went through. I think it's firmer than it was the last time I pressed on it. Yeah. So Molly, please cut the cheese. Will do. You can see it's separating. The whey's all coming up now. So let's check the pH. I think this is closer to six than seven. Okay, here's the way. 
All right, I'm gonna add the rennet now. Okay, starting your timer. And then let's take this over here. Yeah. Wait, why are we taking it out now? He I said mean, 10 minutes. And then we can drain it. Can I check something? Sure, stick it in there. I'll just keep doing this and you just keep doing that. <laughs> and let's just call it a day, shall we? Hi, Brian. How are you? Uh, well, you know. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard. Our pH meter, it broke, yeah. so now we only okay. have the strips. And the okay, strips yeah, are no, saying yeah. it's around six. Yeah, no, I wouldn't trust those things. Uh, you can just let it sit. Um, it's been 40 minutes. God, it's holding on too much whey in there. Yeah. Stir it up and heat it up. And the whey will expel. And then as it expels, it mats, it mats together on the bottom. So if you're around 100 degrees, you stir it a little bit and then just let it sit and then come back to it, you know? We learned it's okay to stir it gently. And then you know what he said that was key that neither one of us is gonna wanna hear right now? Be patient with it. Wait. This is how much patience I have, none. The other thing we learned, <laughs> he's like, no, you can't trust these. They all look the same. Oh my God. Two more hours for cattle and at least another hour on buffalo, if not more. Then we strain it. Oh then we have another God. hour. It's freaking four o'clock already. <laughs> we're literally learning on the job as, what as if it were. We were to make a hybrid mozzarella. <gasps> <laughs> oh my God, the thought didn't even occur to me. Molly, that never occurred to me. Okay, I got it with the pun. He said two and a half hours. This is why they get up at 4.30 in the morning. Otherwise they'd be working in the dark all the time. Oh, we started doing this at 1 p.m. Two different animals, very different way experiences. Mess we'll around. keep our eye on this in the meantime, but it's gonna be a minute, so I think we can practice with his curd. And there's really the no reason to keep yeah, taking pH. Uh, yeah, that job is done. <laughs> so this is Brian's yeah. curd. Like, and this looks very similar to what we saw at Vanulo. It's very hard. And we'll do like half of this? Yeah. It's very solid looking. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about my mashup cheese. <laughs> the 50-50? Yeah. We're gonna add the hot water, stir, and then start stretching. You think Mateo is proud of me right now? Mateo, I'm doing this for you, bud. It's getting there. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> He's hot. <laughs> Have you tried it? How is it? Uh-huh. Um, it's a little bounty, it's a little tough. It's the water needs to be hotter. I'm not saying I just, like we should stop trying, but I am kind of saying that. <laughs> I feel I think overworked we overworked it. it. I'm gonna try shredding this. This is the thing we talk about in recipe development a lot: the setup, the challenge, the bottom, the recovery. I feel like we're in the bottom right now. I think we're at the top. You know what they say: second time's a charm. Okay, now just letting it sit. So we're still at mother <laughs> 70. We have about 17 <laughs> pots, none of which are at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> we suck at this. Hey yo! Sorry, just texting my friends, telling them I won't be joining them this evening. <laughs> I really agree with the shredding. Yeah, me too. I mean, I agreed with the shredding, and now all the fat is leaching out into the water. This has not worked. I think this might be ready to be drained. It's been like two and a half, maybe even three Plus, hours. Yeah. It is holding together, though. But it doesn't look anything like his. Do you think this curd is going to look like that? Yes. The Italian one, when you cut into it, it had holes and yeah. stuff. Like, it hadn't completely s smushed down. So maybe it's fine. I also think there's something positive about humiliation in a oh. pursuit of excellence. <laughs> <laughs> My body aches, you know? Nothing's going our way. Okay, sometimes we have to hit the bottom to come back up again. Flipped around and hit the bottom again and then we <laughs> yeah. just like smash yeah. it. We're gonna give it our best shot. And our last shot. Of today. So I'm gonna go drain. Drain. I'm gonna let it sit for two minutes before I touch it. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. I feel good about the melted. So just leave two cups. What I think we seeing? have too much water. Where did all the f***ing curd go? There was 72 ounces of curd in here. Yeah. We're right back where we were. Yeah. I don't think our pH was right. I don't think anything <laughs> we did was right. I'm proud of us for trying. And I'm proud of us for failing. <laughs> it turns out that two hours of apprenticeship will not make you a cheese master. But we had to go to Italy to test it out and figure that out. It's sorry we failed you. Dark and alone. Bye. We learned how to fail and to bounce back like a like a piece of curd. Right? Yeah. We're gonna bounce I'm back. I'm totally fine. I'm so chill. How we doing folks? Everybody okay? Buona pizza. Oh yeah, you Buona like. pizza! So today we get to phone a friend who also happens to be an expert. Yes. Rin Caputo from Caputo Brothers Creamery in deep in Pennsylvania. Yeah. She, she uh, States, sent States. us some of her cow curd, yes. cattle curd, yes. excuse me. If she's able to walk us through it successfully, then we'll at least be able to make fior di latte. Correct. Oh. Oh, oh, hi! Yeah. Hi! How are you? <laughs> Thank you for sending over your curd. No problem. I hope you guys have fun with it today, playing around. We hope we have fun, too, because we had a lot of failure yesterday. What were you doing yesterday? We attempted to make curd, and then stretch curd, and make mozzarella, and we hit some roadblocks, the first of which was the fact that our pH meter wasn't working. And like we're using culture or an acidifier like vinegar or citric acid? We used whey, because okay. that is how we learned to do it in Italy, that they used the whey from yesterday's milking to acidify the milk, the fresh milk. And we had sort of a recipe from this guy, Brian, but he acidifies his milk with... He was using starter culture. The first time we did it, we had quite a bit of curd and it did melt, but it never got shiny. So we were kind of always in this like ropey looking um, melted mass. Did you taste it? It was just really um, firm and, and chewy, like we're very, very bouncy. All of those are indicators of your pH being too high, typically above 5.3. Okay. Okay, knew it. So how old was the way that you were using? Hard I don't know. know. It was from White Mustache and it's bottled. Oh, okay, that won't work. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's not just any way. Yeah, so you had the wrong cultures in there. Oh. So those would be mesophilic cultures, which would, and actually if you kept heating it up, yeah. you were doing the opposite. The mesophilic cultures actually <laughs> make cooler temperatures to acidify more quickly. If you have a thermophilic culture, which is what most mozzarella is made with, those need to be in the high 80s, low 90s, up to over 100. Okay. So, so yeah, it, we were using a yogurt culture. It, weirdly, this is making me feel better. Yeah, because totally. <laughs> you're we just, just sort of way. confirming that like it wasn't us, it was just everything that we were doing. All right, so if we were going to start with your... One pound. That, yeah. do you want to just walk us through it step by step? You just need to open that and dump that into a small bowl. So we're tearing the cheese into quarter size pieces. You want to use 40 to 50 grams of salt. If you're doing a pizza cheese, 100% salt to That's a lot of salt. The joke we always kind of say is, if it looks like we're adding a lot of salt, that's because we're adding a lot of salt. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need there to be a concentration of salt. Because um, you're or, diluting it. Exactly. You need a bowl of cool, not iced water. Perfect. So go ahead and add it. Uh, go fast, fast, fast. Fast, fast, fast. 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 Just yep. to cover? You can pour right over the curds. Oh, great. Yep, until the curds are completely covered. Stir crispy for 20 to 30 seconds. Vigorously, yep. Vigorously. You see a couple little strings? Yeah, yeah. a couple little strings. Good. Go ahead and pour that off. Pour the hot water in. You don't want to overheat them. So you want to pour around the side of the bowl. So basically we were tempering the curds. That's exactly right. Okay. Yeah. Um, Pushing it. You should see them starting to come together now. Yeah. yeah. Just a little bit and now you can actually come right up underneath and 
Oh, <laughs> it's, it's getting it. very shiny. <laughs> Hallelujah! I swear to God, I'm gonna cry. I'm like literally um, crying. Yep, yeah, like that, and then take. Yeah, you're ready to stretch. There you go, and now lift as high as you can. Lift, lift, lift. Oh. oh. <laughs> the it's the stretch test, the meter. This did not happen yesterday. That's it. That's it? Yep. Put it down. Put the spoon down. Yep. And then dip your hand hands in cold water to cool them off. I saw oh, this in Italy. Oh my God. And now I want you to seal it off. Just close it real tight. Oh. And oh, you're done. Oh, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, it's happened. Do I pinch a little? Oh, baby. <laughs> we made a mozzarella baby. What should we name it? <laughs> no. That was incredible. I cried. I quite literally cried. You don't understand what happened to us yesterday. <laughs> I mean, I cried was, last night too, but for a different dark. reason. Oh, I've been, I've, I've been there. It's miserable. Yes, it's like <laughs> the worst feeling in the world. Do you know because the Italians make it look so easy? They make it look like, so easy. Do we need to take a photo of this, anyone? <laughs> I cut. For you, lady. Oh, thank you. It's still warm and it is really milky. Yeah, you can squeeze the milk out. Yeah. Mm. It's really taking me back to the buffalo moths. It's tangy, but the salt the salt is right there, too. It's, like, yeah. it is, like, right there. I feel it's 45 is good. Super juicy. Mm. Yeah. Is the method different, Rin, if we do the bigger package? It just from making shaking the balls. Chris, we made mozzarella. It was amazing. What? We had a coach. Don't worry about it. We're just old pros now. We had a... That's right. That's right. <laughs> so 180, right? 180. Mixy mix. You're like a water mixologist. Yeah, 191 I'll do. I see a couple of strands. Pour off three quarters. Push, push. And then we'll start pushing together. So just lift it? Yeah, just lift it. There you go. Perfect. Bravissima. So shiny. The big one, oh. too. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Molly. In, in all of our research, we have found that the actual best melt on a pizza is strips. So you're, you're putting a strip this long on pizza? Mm-hmm. We have loaf pans. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that would work perfect. Yeah. Can we divide it in half? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, here we are again. Cool. So should we make these into loaf pans? Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about the loaf pan. Take and shape it like a baguette. Perfect, just like that. And then you just put it right down into the loaf. And it'll actually take up the shape of the pan right now. Cozy. Ooh, we should bread and fry those. Well, okay, so we're gonna make some pizzas today and throw this cheese on it. We literally made our dreams come true. Peace out, Bye. Bye. We're gonna clean up and we'll be back in a moment. <laughs> okay, I'm like, <laughs> this is not like live TV. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you we'll be right with you. <laughs> so what we have is a little mozzarella taste test. So yeah. we've got imported, procured, both buffalo and the stuff that we just made with the help of Rin, taking care to be sure that none of them contain anything other than milk and cultures and aren't acidified. Look how juicy it's still. Wow. Super milky. I'm really curious what you think because it is buffalo-y. Really tangy. It's really tangy. And that makes sense because it's several days old. I don't not like it. I don't not like it. She's a contender. It's, it's a little, a little squeaky. It doesn't taste buffalo-y. 
nice and squishy. Really see the skin. The inside is really soft. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. That's sour in a different way. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. Okay, and this is made with minimally pasteurized cow's milk. I love the flavor of this. Where are we ending up? We really like the flavor of the curd that Rain got us that we formed into mozzarella. So yeah. as far as Fior di Latte goes, that is the one that I'm most interested in trying out on pizza. Yeah, let's make two buffaloes and then the winner of that round will go up against today's Fior di Latte. Okay, yeah. this is our imported raw milk buffalo cheese. To run a penta coming down the line. This is our New Jersey pasteurized buffalo You're bubbles. the only one who knows what's going on in cheese world right now, so I need you to keep a good eye on which is which, because we've been known to forget. Mix things up? Never. So two ounces cheese. Oh, that is like, smell the fear. Oh, I don't geez, even know. Louise. Don't have <laughs> Oh. You gonna bake that? You crazy maniac. No, I'm actually making a calzone. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Bottoms up. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> no, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. fine. Yay! Amazing. All right. Okay, I think at least this side looks like a pizza. Totally. That's a pretty fine looking pie, folks. Mm. <laughs> Way too chewy. Way chewy. And I don't even like the flavor that much. Too much tomato sauce. <laughs> That's awful. It's a little saucy. I find the flavor overpowering. It's pretty strong. These are two extremes. They are two, that is exactly what it is. And we need to find a happy medium. This is why I think that this next test is gonna be interesting because I find her milk and her curd to taste really similar to this tangy buffalo mozz. And so okay. this might solve a problem. Great, so let's just make a Fiori Latte. Let's get right back. into it. Our day of Fiori de Latte. The cheese that literally made me cry. <sighs> I got stickage. You did. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like the spreadingness. I That's like. That's not a word. Oh. I wouldn't have known that it, it was in strips. Never. Like that looks like it could have been a blob. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. The mouth feel on this cheese is really, really nice. I'm gonna I'm go in with a little oil. bit of this. Okay. Mmm. You like my technique? Nice sharding. Thank you. Very nice. It's almost too sharp. It's too much. I feel like somewhere in between. Yeah, like a two-year-old parm. Mm -hmm. We can find one. Um, I like the Verde Latte a lot. Me too. I still hold a torch for the fresh raw buffalo mozzarella. And I can't be flying back and forth to Italy every minute. <laughs> I mean, I don't think we can, but. We're not getting raw milk buffalo cheese here, no. ever. It's just not gonna happen. Um, we could get an imported Italian buffalo milk cheese and try that and see how it compares. But right now, curd made by hand, we are taking from curd to a day of cheese. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the best. It's kind of an ideal situation. Okay, we're not quite done, but we want you to try this. This tastes like very good pizza cheese. Like very good pizza cheese. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Okay, I'm but gonna it, go back to this hybrid thing again. There's no rule that says you can't blend buffalo but, and fior de latte. Nobody ever said that. No, it's and in fior my, de buffalo. Oh look, here it comes. Here's the mozzarella. Oh wow. It's fior de buffalo, maybe. All right, so we just brought in some imported buffalo mozz from Italy. It's made in Campania, which is where right, we just where we were. were. Really wet, really juicy. Much more buttery and mild. Yeah. Um, it's very watery. Ideally, this would stay out of its brine at least overnight. I think um, we should make a pie with it. Definitely. Oh, mother of, okay, it's okay. Okay, we are swimming in, wow, milky milks. Wow. 
Woo! The Buffalo River. Oh my God. I really like that flavor. You can, um, we can't deny how good that flavor is. We could try the hybrid dream. Yeah, I want and to do see that. what happens when we have an ounce of this and an ounce of Fior de Latte. This is really good though. Hmm, good idea. We happened upon a <laughs> wedge of two year aged parm, Mijano Reggiano. I think this is gonna be great. Mmm. Ooh. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not surprised. Cheese ladies! Pretty good. Next pie. The hybrid pie. 50-50, drained with our other log of Fior de Latte. Oh, noise. Fior de Buffalo. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Maybe we're like breaking some culinary sin right now. I don't care. Mm. Mm. Okay, so less seepage. It makes sense. Make sense. It makes sure. total sense. It's half as much buff. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> Save a bite for parm. Mm. <laughs> Molly <laughs> Buffalo Boz. <laughs> Did we do it? It's really good. Is it better? Maybe. Hold on. Hold <laughs> up. Hit me. Hold up a second. Shardy. <laughs> Shardy McSharterton's. Okay, you cannot right. call me that. Why not? Shardy McSharterton's? <laughs> One sec. I think I great things see. have happened here. I today. really like it. Okay, I'm overwhelmed. It might be best of both worlds. Did we just freaking nail it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the fence about the parm. I'm not on the fence about anything else. Me either. No, I think it's really, really good. I feel like I'm gonna sleep soundly tonight. <laughs> Good idea. We Try something really for you to taste. Okay. Is this the blend? I knew about the blend. Have you already told me too much? I, told I heard you. you yelling about the blend. It was like lentils, <laughs> blend. Oh my god. Jeez. Lentils. We we're gonna try and fool you. No. Save a bite for Parm. What do you think? Mm, like there's more of a brightness, like that kind of like bright, kind of like lactic. Actually, that's enough. That's all you get. Sorry, I don't want it to overwhelm. <laughs> we just made cheese, mm. you know? It might overwhelm. You know what? The other thing that I honestly, I think is so nice about this, it's just like pockets of like moisture. You get like richness. You yeah. get this kind of like liquid. It's like pleasantly soupy. You know, yeah. you, you I hope somebody's this. writing this down because this is gold. This, like this, like I want that. Yeah, you, know, you can you have, have like, that. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad with the parm. Pretty good. Yeah. Mm where you were yesterday versus now. We were literally crying yesterday and we literally cried today for opposite emotions. <laughs> yeah, there's been a Still lot of tears. Still a lot tears. of tears. <laughs> yeah, there were a lot of tears. Um, I'm so Brilliant. excited about Me this. Me too. So well done. <gasps> so happy. Well done for Morocco. Okay, well we pass yes, the we torch go. on to you. Yeah, Go in pizza. <laughs> I can't believe we're back here. But this it feels good to really be back. really exciting. Because I think we can cross a lot of things off from the top. All right, let's just make this nice and clean. Fresh mozzarella. One half buffalo and one half Fiori paddle. Latte. One ounce, one ounce. Let's say pasteurized and room temp. Minimum. Drain 30 min. Uh, kosher salt. Hand torn. Olive oil pre and post. Two year parm post oven. And then this was think down here we'll just write Hybrid pizza. <laughs> Hybrid cheese. Cheese. Hybrid cheese. I think it's the best <laughs> of both worlds. I do too. I feel super excited about it. There was a minute yesterday when I was feeling so bad, and I was like, why did we even go to Italy Me if too. Like, nothing matters? You right. know what I mean? But like you said, the cheese that we are making is very Italian in spirit. And so it, it, is, it is Italian in an True. American way. I feel very comfortable handing off this pizza 
with its dough, its sauce, and our cheese blend. That's right. To the toppings, boys. So I'm excited for our final pie. It's gonna be perfect. In a couple weeks. Okay, so we're in charge of toppings. Oh. <laughs> this is not the right dough. I feel like Tom Hanks in a Castaway when he makes fire. Andy, are you literally sitting over there saying that you don't want Molly and Carla's cheese on your spec pie? I said I don't want their cheese and I don't want my sauce, so I think we're eating. Oh, wow. You know? 